With a wind warning in the Cascades and up to 45 miles an hour winds, it's the perfect time to show you guys how to set up the Hilleberg Namash 2 GT or any other tent in the winter in such stormy conditions like today. Hi everyone, this is Andrea with Adventures and Dreams. I was out in the Cascades a couple of weeks ago and had a lot of fun setting up my camp in the storm. I showed some highlights in my trip video already, but I want to go into much greater detail in this episode. My apologies in advance because the audio is not that great. The microphone was rubbing against the rain jacket as I was moving around to set up the tent. So let's get started by trampling a spot for our tent first. Next thing we need to do is secure the tent to make sure it doesn't fly away before we even do anything else. I already have it in the direction that I want to go. I always roll it up the same way so I know exactly which one is the front and which one is the back. And I want to face the vestibule into the wind and my sleep area in the opposite side. Now the wind is turning a little bit here and there. It was coming from this way before and now it's coming from that way. So I'm just lining it up about like this and I'm gonna stake down the first two corners before I can roll it out. It's so deep and wet <laughs> that I'm not worried about it too much that they will come loose because I can really secure them well. I think I need to keep my snow shoes on. Now I'm going to roll out the tent and secure the other side, which I normally don't do, but today it's super windy and I want the tent to be stable while I put in the pole. So. Next come the poles. And normally I put them all out and put them all together. But this time, because I don't want to lose anything in the wind, I'm just doing one at a time and leave the rest tucked away in the bag until I'm ready for it. I'm taking no chances. I don't want to lose my bag and I don't want to lose anything that might fly away in this wind. I'm just putting one pole in at a time and make sure that it's secure all the way down to the pocket on the opposite side. And Hilleborg actually suggests to already clip them in and then do the next one. But I really don't like doing it that way. So I'm just going to secure one at a time. So now I have to tighten the poles and put them into their little pockets here on the side. I have not tried this yet with this side secured, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I don't think it works. I have to loosen this back up again for now.
able to secure my stakes already while the tent is still down because once the thing is coming up it's going to want to fly around like crazy this is the scariest part because when I pull this it's only going to be secured by those two things down there and by me holding it so I have to tighten it pretty fast and get those two stakes down pretty quick and then do everything else the wind is currently not as strong as it was so maybe now is a good time to do this with snowshoes. I'm going to secure the, the side that faces the wind first because that's the most important one to have strong. I'm going to be off camera. <laughs> I feel a little better now that I have five points secured and it already looks really stable but as always I'm using all of my guidelines to make sure that the wind doesn't catch it from any side I have these going in a 45 degree angle this way this one's going straight out and the ones in the back will go at a 45 degree angle the other way and then the vestibule is going to go all the way back <laughs> so we have guidelines in all directions which makes it super stable and i trust it in all wind conditions and all weather really <laughs> The last important thing we need to do is tighten all the guidelines. When I pack it, when I dry it and pack it up at home, I always leave those all the way extended so I have as much room as I want to tighten it. So I just pull them. And that should be good. totally solid everything is nice and tight and I'm gonna go around and tighten those guidelines some more as these will go a little bit wet and then they'll soften but the shape is solid it's facing the right direction and I feel really good about it I will feel very safe to sleep in here tonight although the wind's supposed to die down in the evening a bit so but for now this is good yeah i followed all the rules i um, secured everything based on where the wind came from made sure that the front is secured for first and also the guy lines in the front and uh, yeah tuck away all the bags that you have so you don't lose them and yeah just take your time you can't really rush this 
it has to be done well and right so the tent is set up good and and then you'll be safe in it but honestly i don't know if i would trust a lot of other tents like this this uh, is such a solid tent from hilleberg i mean hilleberg is such an amazing brand anyway and this is what they call a black label tent which is the strongest of the three types that they have it's uh, so you have the green label, which is the free season tent, the red label, which is a light winter tent, and the black label, which is built for super storms, basically. Um, if you don't have a good tent, please don't do what I'm doing here right now. It's probably not safe. You need to really have a solid tent to be able to camp in a storm like this and feel like you're gonna <laughs> gonna be okay the night you know i have looked at the tents before that were not hilleberg uh actually in north face four season tent that looked really awesome but what i really love about this one is that the inner tent is already built in and you just put it up and nothing gets wet inside i love this so much and i can't stress it enough how important that is for weather like this i mean the snow is so wet it's melting on the tent it's almost rain right now and if i had to put up the inner tent first and then the outer tent the um the rain fly that would just be horrible this takes a little bit longer but everything is dry inside and everything is solid so anyway i'm happy with it and now i'm just going to put everything into uh, my tent and set things up inside and i'm just now seeing some wind coming hang on here it comes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes this is awesome that's exactly what i wanted <laughs> actually the last thing i'm going to do is to cover my edges with snow a little bit so nothing blows under it and the wind doesn't go inside the vegetable. Since the snow is so solid, so wet, this is really easy. Wow, that's a lot of snow already in a couple of hours. This is much better again, isn't it? The shape is perfect again. That's it for this video and I hope you liked it and learned a little bit about how to set up the tent properly. If you want to see the entire trip, you can check out the link in the corner and in the description below. Take care everyone, I see you on my next adventure.